Yo, what's poppin? Welcome to Burman Rhapsody. And this is day number 16 of my 18 days with the R18 coast to coast ride for the Pediatric Brain Tumor Foundation. Today I'm in Columbia, Missouri. Today's day is gonna be a little different. I'm gonna head into St. Louis first for the 6,000 mile service on the bike uh, at Gateway BMW. And this has been my weapon of choice. It's a 2022 BMW R18 Transcontinental that's been loaned to me by BMW Motorrad North America and the BMW Performance Center. Huge shout out to them and shout out to Andrew and Motorcycles of Greensboro for helping me get this together and for all the gear and advice that they've provided. I would also like to take a minute to thank uh, Motorcyclist Map. They're one of our sponsors and partners for this trip. Uh, and without them, I mean, that's a tool designed for motorcyclists by motorcyclists and they've helped me so much in finding out cool spots throughout this trip. And for the, as for the pictures, man, it's Lunar Lens who does all these editing for me. So, you shout out to Lunar Lens. And of course, when you're hungry, where do you go? Fusion 9. <laughs> Couldn't have done it without these three guys. Without further ado, you know what time it is? It's right o'clock. <laughs> Starting off day 16, this is day 16. It's hard to believe there's been 16 days. It's been 16 days that I've been on the road. <laughs> well, today's day is gonna be a pretty chill ride. So I know I'm gonna head into Gateway BMW in St. Louis, Missouri. The bike is due for its 6,000 mile service. And I'm assuming I probably need a set of new tires or something. Uh, the, the amount of riding that I've done through all these different weather conditions, yeah. So, let's see, and that, then you see that little check engine light going on it's nothing serious it's just that the services do there's an error message and i see clouds in the horizon it's like dark and gloomy it's gonna rain at any point of time right now i just have a feeling i just have a feeling <laughs> but let's keep going there's nothing much we can do about it might as well just roll the punches haha <laughs> and just as expected boom comes the rain yeah uh, uh, the rain and I have become good friends now. We've been uh, with each other through thick and thin, through hot days and cold. <laughs> it is what it is. Enjoy the ride. <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna keep boring you guys. Let's listen. Let's hit some music. So I'm here at Gateway BMW in St. Louis, Missouri. These guys fit me into their tight schedule, got my bike service for the 6,000 mile service. It's such an awesome group of people that I've met here. Such an awesome group. And with me, I have Tommy from Gateway BMW. Thank you so much for fitting me in and get, taking care of the bike, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And can you tell us a little bit about Gateway BMW? Well, we've been at this location, this is our 15th year, and we're really excited that hopefully by the end of the year, we're gonna be at our new location. It's gonna be twice as big and a lot better neighborhood. <laughs> and uh, it's gonna be a lot easier to get to and we'll have a great place for test rides. We're a friendly dealership. This is where our customers become friends and we go riding it's just a nice spot I wouldn't work here if it wasn't so uh, come by and see us by the end of the year hopefully we'll be in west of here in Chesterfield Missouri at our new twice as big relation uh, location come <laughs> by and see us thanks I'll put the link in the video description below hey Tommy do you think my bike is ready now I don't know let's go check what time is it 
It's always right o'clock, man. It's right always right o'clock. Yes, sir. Let's go. <laughs> These guys were really, really, really awesome. It almost felt like I'm in Greensboro at Motorcycles of Greensboro. These guys were so um, amazing, and they made me feel so much at home and welcome right away. I met the owner, uh, Bob Hans. I think that was his name. I might be butchering his name, but yeah. He's an amazing guy, and even Tommy, man. These guys have been riding BMW motorcycles for dec decades at this point of time. Uh, I think they're both fans of the GS line, and they were just sharing the stories of all the rides that they've done, the different countries they've ridden, ridden to and whatnot. So, yeah, just another, just another great dealership with uh, a lot of fun people who've done so much about motorcycling, and, you know, like Motorcycles of Greensboro, where you know, we say the professor says there are about 300 years of experience, combined experience within those walls. I think this is this would be pretty close, uh, or somewhere in that neighborhood too. So, yet another amazing place, uh, yet another amazing experience, and a, a great BMW dealership. So, and since that's done, now I'm still heading on to my heading on back home to Raleigh, North Carolina. But before I do that, I wanted to stop and uh, check out the uh, uh, the Gateway Arch. <laughs> the Gateway Arch in St. Louis, which was the gateway to the West, uh, during, the West the, during the Westward expansion of uh, the U.S. And you know, it's just a symbolic gateway. And there you can see uh, it peeking out from the side on my left. I'm trying to get to a... Uh, get to a location where I can see it and even the funny thing is uh, the best location is actually across the river uh, on the Illinois side so I'm gonna go there and I'll talk to you guys I'll show you guys the view from the other side right? Look what we have here. That's the Gateway Arch of St. Louis. <laughs> Built in 1965. It's an arch. It's the world's tallest arch and it's a gateway to the west. So this bike feels so much better now that we've got the 6,000 mile service, they did the oil change and all that fun stuff. And I got sets of new a set of new tire front and rear. Uh, it feels like it's alive and it's <laughs> it's got new shoes. So yeah, it's it's loving it and I'm loving it. Um, so yeah, now we're headed on and onwards towards the next stop would be crossing through Indiana and then finally heading into Kentucky for the night. Um, pretty much highway riding today, straight highway riding. So we'll see. Uh, it's, it's been a good long day. It's a good long few days, but hey, let's talk about a feature of this motorcycle. It's in, did you know it comes with a reverse gear? Well, let's talk about it. All right, today we are gonna show you a cool new feature about this motorcycle, it's the reverse. And to help me out, I have my man Andrew from Motorcycles of Greensboro. How are you, man? Good, Aubrey. How are you? Living the dream, man. As always, always living the dream. So come on, show us this cool little reverse feature. I'm assuming you need a reverse for a 950-pound behemoth. Oh, yeah. It really <laughs> helps, especially when you kind of nose into a parking spot that's uh, angled downhill just a little bit. Uh, very, very useful feature uh, that keeps you from having to kind of manhandle the bike and, yeah. you know, push around. And uh, it's a great way to actually sit on the motorcycle and just, you know, back Pull it up like, yeah. uh, while you're uh, uh, riding. So, um, hey, you don't uh, have to tell me twice, man. <laughs> I've I've been stuck on a decline, incline, all of that. Yeah, oh, yes, I know. You've been there. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, I'm assuming that's a little lever yeah, down here. Yeah. So it's it's very easy to use. Uh, so with the motorcycle uh, ignition on and uh, the bike running. All right. Step one: turn the bike on. All right. Step Ooh. two: step two. Fire it up. We're gonna have the bike in neutral with the engine running. All right. And then we're simply gonna reach down. Flip this lever here. And you'll notice my 
gear position indicator has turned to R to indicate reverse. And at this point, I'm going to use the start button to activate the reverse gear. All right. Back up at a walking pace. Once I'm done, I simply flip this back, and I'm back in neutral. And now I can put the motorcycle in gear, and I can ride off. Perfect. <laughs> So for the folks who had a K1600 or something, it's a very similar feature. I mean, you don't have a lever down there in the K1600, but you, it's on the top, but you still use that kill switch to go uh, to take it in reverse. Exactly. And it's not going to take you like full speed behind, it's going to no. take it a nice very, gentle very pace. pace. Yeah, I like it. Whoa. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you, Motorcycles of Greensboro. <laughs> yeah, the reverse comes really, really handy when you're trying to back out of tight spots and whatnot. Then this is a big, heavy bike. And yeah, and well, while you guys were looking at the reverse feature, I've been riding and riding and riding, and we are getting close to Indiana. I think so. Yeah, I see the signboard right there. Indiana. <laughs> Indiana. Crossroads of America. Uh -huh. Lincoln's boyhood home. I didn't know that. So, yeah, there you go. We're in Indiana. We keep on rumbling. Onwards! <laughs> so, yeah, it's been a nice day of riding and a lot nice day of experiences, rather. I was at Gateway BMW for about 12 to 4 p.m. They squeezed me in, got a bunch of stuff done to the bike. The 6,000 mile service, all change, all that, and they put some new tires on this bike because mine were pretty close to being bald. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's been an incredible, incredible journey for 16 days at this time, at this point of time. And two more days to go. I am excited. I am super excited and I'm tired. Uh, ready to go back home. And the stop for tonight is gonna be Louisville, Kentucky or Louisville, Kentucky, however you say it. Uh, I'm still about a couple hours away, I think, and it's starting to get dark, but hey, that's what it is because I get a late start to the day. I start at around 10 or 11 in the morning because I'm not a morning person. I like to sleep in. That just means I have to ride into the night and that's okay. Last couple of days, we are in the home stretch now. Well guys, thanks for watching. Keep your knees in the breeze and I'll see you soon. Bro out.